everybody. Welcome to the start of a new vlog. My god, do I look pale in this light. <laughs> um, it is currently 4.30 and I wrapped up with work around like 2.30, 3 p.m. I don't remember and I thought I could take you along for a little evening in my life on a nice little Friday. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina. So nice to have you here. And if you aren't new, welcome to another vlog. First stop is the gym. I'm just at NLA Fitness. That's where I go to. I don't go anywhere fancy anymore. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a little workout and then we're going to go home and cook dinner. We have tacos on the menu tonight. So I am excited for dinner and then I just have a quick back day, back and arm day, I think. I need to look at my app. I use the live app um, by Miss Whitney. I'll insert a little screenshot here, but yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything really else to say, but I know it's been a hot minute, but we can chat a little bit more. I'm gonna go get to the gym. Dinner tonight is brought by Mr. Michael Fitzmeyer. What are we having? I'm making potato and chorizo tacos again, but we're alternating the way we're cooking the potatoes. Yeah, last time we kind of like parboiled them and then um, skillet fried them, but this time we decided to just skillet fry them. Well, this last time we, par we parboiled them, we cooled them. Yeah. Then we cooked the chorizo in the cast iron. Mm -hmm. We took the chorizo out and then we put the potatoes in it. Cook, finish cooking the potatoes and then mix the chorizo back in. Yeah. Because that's the way the internet said. This time we're going to cook potatoes like we normally do and then mix them in the chorizo and see how that turns out. Yep. Exactly. To be fair, we weren't confident in making it the last time, but the end product... Well, it was our first time last time. But the end product turned out really well, and we had a week's worth of food. We also made two tacos at different types at the same time. Well, also last time, we chopped up two potatoes and two links of chorizo. Oh, did we? We did yeah. two? I forgot about that. Yeah, so this time, I cooked up... I chopped up one potato and one chorizo link. So we might not even have any leftover for breakfast tomorrow. Well, honestly, I'm hoping, that's a lot. I'm hoping we have enough food for tonight and tomorrow. And that's it. And we're not eating it all the week. <laughs> like we did last time? <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed it last time, but I felt like you got sick of it towards the end. Um, honestly, no, I don't think I did. But I think what I did towards the end yeah, is mixing some egg in. Yeah, I mix a like scrambled some egg in it because then it tasted pretty much like a breakfast like taco or burrito. And we're gonna see if we have any cheese to shred at the end of this. We but have a we have a ton of cheese. But to shred. We have a ton of cheese to shred. Okay. It's all left over from the dip that I made when we watched that uh, football game. Perfect. So, so we have a ton of che uh, right, cheese. Let's see if these release a little bit. I'll yep. Try. Oh. Look. Come on. Some of them are, some of them are. You want me to try it? I mean, you can see this one that I kind of just knocked over by itself. Here. Turn it off and close it. Again, okay, a lot less sticking than the last time.
So I like to have mine with a little dollop of sour cream, but these look so good. When people talk about body care a lot of times like everybody mentions products from Sephora like Sol de Janeiro and all this other stuff and I feel like drugstore doesn't get enough love so I want to show you some of my favorite drugstore shower items one of them being Bioderma shower oil this is very similar to L'Occitane's almond shower oil this is not as luxurious it doesn't have like that amazing scent, but this is scent free if you have sensitive skin. It's amazing and it's literally a liter of product. I use this to shave and this will last you forever. Um, it's so good. I would highly recommend you get this. You can get it at Target or Amazon online. Next, Dr. Teal's scrubs. Cheap. Again, you can get them like three at a time on Amazon. They're so good. And lastly, don't hate on CeraVe. Like this moisturizing cream, I use it on my face, I love it on my body. And again, I don't always like something heavily scented. Um, sometimes I just don't want it to interfere with my perfume. And this is a really good one. It sinks in super fast. I put it on my face sometimes, I use it on my body. My other favorite drugstore one, which I have run out of, is the Palmer's. Um, Shea butter in the little pump, love that stuff. But that one has a stronger scent, so if you want something scent free, if you have sensitive skin, these two are phenomenal. Highly recommend. That's just my tip of the day. Doesn't matter how old you get, human beings are always gonna wanna see what's over that next hill. I think it's prime alert in all of us, the need I just want to say that I feel like I've watched 
how many seasons of For All Mankind? Three, three full seasons. This is its fourth season. And every season just confirms my belief that there is no way in hell I wanna go to space. Like I love gravity. I want my two hooves planted firmly on the ground. <laughs> I like I th I don't know if I had to like gun to my head and be choose in between like going to the depths of the ocean and going to space I don't know what I would do I mean like we all know what happened to the people who tried to go see the Titanic so I don't know Michael gun to your head what would you do go down to see the Titanic or go to Mars Um, I, who builds submarines? I don't know. There are more people who can make a submarine than can make, to go to the Titanic, they can make a rocket, they can go to Mars right now. Okay, well let's say Elon builds the rocket and Bill Gates builds the submarine. <laughs> and Elon we trust but yeah anyway we it's really cool they did this little these little historical clips on Apple TV of like all the years leading up to the current season I believe it's how it works it started from like 96 and then it ended I think in 2001 and you can watch that before you start the show and it was really cool how they like comped like real footage and like put their put the actors in it but highly recommend that show if you haven't seen it yet but for the rest of the evening not there's not that there's like much evening it's like 11 p.m i'm gonna go to bed soon but i'm gonna do a little bit of reading this is my current book um it's iron flame the second book in the fourth wing series that just came out so i'm liking it so far it's really good the last book i read um, I actually listened to it. I got it. I was lucky. It just happened to be available on my library app on Libby. So I was able to listen to it for free and rent it out of the library, which I feel like never happens. I feel like I have to wait so long to get a book um, from the library. Everything's always on hold. So I really purely just got lucky there. But yeah, so that is the rest of the evening. I'm going to probably pause this here it'll be a short little video but um we'll pick up vlogging tomorrow we have some fun exciting plans um we're gonna run some errands we're gonna go to Issaquah and I'm going to see if I can get some cute new Christmassy decor because last year the only thing I bought for Christmas was a garland and a wreath from Co both from Costco and I think two ornaments and we didn't even have a tree because we were literally traveling so much and the house was empty so and we didn't spend Christmas here so there was really no point and plus we had no budget because we had zero furniture so all of our money was going towards like either the wedding or the house in other ways but this year obviously I'm not going to go buy every single thing but I want to like slowly build up like a decor collection for Christmas and get like a few things every year. I feel like you always see these crazy hauls on YouTube of like Christmas decorations or fall decorations of all these girls going out and spending what feels like hundreds upon hundreds of dollars if not like a thousand dollars in one season or in like two trips to get all this like stuff and I'm like who does that like who actually I don't know I just feel like that's insane. Like, I'd rather collect it over time and have memories associated with stuff rather than just buy things to buy things. But what do I know? Anyway, I hope you have a great one wherever you are. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.